While we've got the chance to speak to you, Frank, you were obviously out last week for Tyson Fury's fight with Otto Valin in America. What did you make overall of the fight and Tyson's performance having to overcome those uh, that early adversity? Well, I thought it says all about Tyson, what he is. You know, he showed what he is getting off the floor twice and certainly in the last round against Deontay Wilder and coming back at the end of the round, winning winning the round, in, you, know, you know, on top. Um, this, the fight against Wallin, who, you know, an unbeaten fighter, we know what unbe unbeaten fighters, they're not been beaten, so you've got no yardstick to gauge them from. He came in there, he had nothing to lose, everything to gain. Tyson was impaired by a terrible cut, which turned into to be two bad cuts, lots of blood in his eye, which obviously affects his performance. He, his, his vision was a, a, a affected. The fact that he had those bad cuts and he, and he had competent um, team around him in the corner, who, who obviously was spotting the dots are going to dots are going to the corner, the referee keep constantly looking at the cut, spurred him on. All that blood, you know, was the referee going to stop it or not? Keep putting it on him, and he, a couple of times he was rubbing his glove in the. In, you know, in the inside of his glove and the cut neck, trying to get the fight stopped. That that gave him a lot of impulse. It, you know, it urged him on. Do you admire that when he did that? Because a lot of people have criticised Wallin for doing that, but I kind of thought you do what you do to win, don't you? I think I thought Tyson would have admired it, really. <laughs> I didn't admire it because obviously Tyson's my man, and I want to see him do things properly. But look, he did he did what he did to try and win the fight. But the bottom line was he couldn't win the fight. He couldn't overcome Tyson Fury, who was badly impaired, whose sight was very you know whose sight was was. was uh, was seriously affected. You know, he got caught for a couple of shots that he would never have got caught with. You know, with that blood that, that was streaming down his face and getting into his eye, and he showed what he's made. And, and at the end of the day, you know, the judges saw it how it was. He won the fight on points, just uh, you know, and convincingly on a couple of the judges' scorecards on points. He'd done what he had to do, and it was a fight with Tyson. He had, you know, everything to lose and nothing to gain about it. It was like another marking time fight while we're waiting for the outcome of uh, Deontay's wild Deontay's fight against um, Ortiz waiting for that one to come on uh, and and on, as we said we're not only sitting around on his backside but it could have all gone terribly wrong it could have all, all, all ended in tears Will it delay the fight between Wilder and Fury to rematch or was it always going to be a little bit later than February what's the what's the kind of plan February is the, the date because, because obviously other sporting events are on in the States. That's the prime date. Um, will it delay? I've got no idea at the moment. He only had the stitches out yesterday and it was, it was, we'll see how it settles down in the next six to seven weeks. It's not about the February date. It's about getting into the ring to spar and prepare for the fight. You know, can't risk the, uh, the cut. It's got to heal properly. So if it heals properly, it won't be a problem. If it doesn't heal properly, then the fight's not going to happen. So we won't know that for, for a few weeks. When the rematch does occur, do you expect a different type of fight from the first one? And this is assuming Wilder gets past Luis Ortiz, of course. Well, assuming he gets past Ortiz, and fingers crossed that Deontay does, because we want to see that fight again. If he does get past him, I think you're going to get... You know, what's, De what's, what's Deontay going to do any different? Is he going to stand off him? Is he going to take the fight to him? I think the problem that Deontay's got is that Tyson will outbox him, whatever, whether he stands off him, or he comes forward, Tyson and that come. And he ain't gonna outbox Tyson Fury, that's for sure. He's a big puncher. Can he land that bomb? If he does, we know he's put Tyson on the floor. Well, we've seen Tyson get up, and uh, we see Tyson take the fight back to him. And we've seen Tyson have him in trouble in the fight, so. Do you think that mentally could have broken Wilder to an extent, that he's took, he's took his best shot and got off the deck? That must have shocked, it looked like it shocked him on the video. It shocked him in the last round. He was doing all this on, on camera, and he thought it was all over. And I mean, he was as shocked as I was when he got up because I didn't think he was getting up. He, was he didn't get down to one shot. It was like three shots he hit him with, and uh, he got off the floor. And it did, it did, did take it. Did, did shock him. It did, you know. He was, and, and you know, coming the end of the round, Tyson was on on top. He was on top. There's no doubt about it. He got robbed there. Tyson should be the champion. He got robbed there. Now, you know, obviously, and we're keeping our things wrong. We'll see Deontay, who's a great guy, by the way. I like Deontay. He's a he's a true warrior. I want to see him come through. Fight with Ortiz. And then let's get this on and we'll find out what's going to happen with judges, proper neutral judges. Last question for you, and this is something I suggested to your son Francis last week. I don't want a percentage, so don't worry too much about that side of it. How would you feel about Daniel Dubois against Otto Violin? Yeah, it's a great fight to make down the road. There's no problem with that. I haven't got a problem with that fight at all. It's a totally different fight. It's a to you, know, you know he comes to fight. You know he's coming forward. What a great fight that would be.
Brilliant. Frank, always oh, a pleasure. Also, Wallin, what he feels about it. <laughs> More to the point. I will, I will. All right, appreciate it. Cheers, Frank. Pleasure.